Hey everybody, I have so many fun ideas for things to do during this month that I'm making kind of a special event out of it. So welcome to Halloween month. I feel like I wouldn't be living up to expectations if I didn't do at least a month of like good solid Halloween stuff. They didn't call me the queen of Halloween at school for no reason. They weren't being nice. It wasn't a compliment. I was being bullied. Whatever. One of the things that I've been really wanting to try for a while and loads of you have been requesting that I try as well is having a go with this black food trend. Now I saw and you may have also seen that recently the amazing channel Threadbanger has made black macaroni and cheese. It looked really cool but I think I can make mine better and easier and much more spooky and necro. Sorry Rob. But I feel like as Fat Queen, as the Queen of Halloween, and also as someone who's lazy and hates cooking, I feel that this is my responsibility to take this step up into the realms of being even spookier and also a step down into being a bit easier. If there's ever anyone on YouTube that should be making experimental black food, it's me. My entire wardrobe is black, my living room walls are black, all my underwear is black, my heart is black, my tea is black, my soap is black, my cat is black. Normally I don't have to go to any special effort to make my food black, it goes black anyway because I burn it. Okay, let's make black or onion cheese. Now Rob from Threadbanger made his own black pasta from scratch. Pasta is extremely hard to make. Most people don't have the equipment or the patience for it. So I found something even better. I found some pasta that was already black. Not only is it already black, it's skull and crossbone shaped. While the pasta's boiling, let's make the cheese sauce. This for me in itself will be a challenge because I have never made cheese sauce before, let alone black cheese sauce. And because it's black, I won't be able to tell if I've burnt it. But on the bright side, that means that no one else will be able to tell if I've burnt it either. I'm combining butter, milk, flour, and grated Gouda cheese. No, I am not following a recipe. No, I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm full of hope, and that is the main thing. I recommend you use concentrated black gel food dye for this kind of thing rather than the liquid. You don't need to use as much and it's less likely to give you a crook stomach. There's our black skull shaped pasta. And there's the totally black cheese. That smells amazing. Oh my god, I did it. I made black aroni and cheese but with skulls. So it's even more necro and spooky and dark. And it was so much easier than making the black pasta myself. Matthias! Taste it. Kay. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna Whoa. taste it. Oh, it's so dark. It's so, it's so black. It tastes pretty good. Mm. I'm actually pretty impressed with how well this cheese sauce turned out. This is good. I'm just gonna eat this whole plate of black pasta in front of you. <laughs> Seems like that I would eat ashes. It tastes taste like noodles and cheese. Black food on a black plate. Yeah, that's how you should eat lunch. Hmm? That's how you should eat every meal. Which yeah. ought to be true. <laughs> <laughs> it just tastes like pasta and cheese, except that it's black. It looks more beautiful, I think. Thumbs up for blackaroni and cheese. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you would ever eat this yourself. If this looks appealing to you and also if you have any suggestions for other kinds of black food that we could try to make I really enjoyed this and I'm really impressed with how well it turned out so I'm really excited to get onto the other black foods that I have in mind but I want to hear what you want to see too if you have yet to do so please subscribe to my channel I make at least two videos every week my plan for Halloween month is to be putting up videos more often this smells so good, I'm gonna keep eating it now. I'll link below to where I found the cool skull shaped black pasta. And I'll also write down my recipe on my website, which I will link below for you too. So thank you very much for watching, and as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, stay spooky, happy Halloween month, and I'll see you next time.